right there. It's another Wednesday midweek edition of the Citizens Forum on the Daybreak Show, Rock City 101.9 FM. Yes, another time for us to get engaged in some intellectual, very important, progressive issues around us. That's what we do every time on this program, Citizens Forum. Daily Ayodo is my name. All right, and I am Toby Joseph. Uh, yes, um, if we are not careful, another societal problem, psycho problem, uh, may be looming in the face of individual parents right from our homes to governments across the country. This time around is about the growing rate of uh, abuse of should I say drugs, really? Uh, because investigation has shown that not just drugs, other substances, including leaves, that are addictive are now being used by our, not just youth, really, so many um, people, Nigerians. Some are saying it's, uh, it's as a result of the societal problem that we have. Uh, usually, some will blame it on government, some will say unemployment. Whichever one you think it is the truth, it's so many people are getting involved in finding a means of uh, what they call um, hyping themselves. Is that uh, the correct <laughs> one for each uh, They want to feel hyped. For whatever reason, I don't know. But again, it has also been identified that this is one of the reasons why we have these social vices, crimes also coming up within our uh, society. Well, uh, recently, government, after all said that done, there have been so much noise reports about the abuse of the use of the drug codeine, really. Uh, but during the week, during the last seven days, government decided to not just ban importation and production of that drug, but also close some shops. We are not just looking at codeine because there are so many, so many of such a hyper psycho active substances that are being used. Interestingly, during the course of uh, reciting for different, some people told me that people even go into the latrine and inhale yes. the heat coming from the latrine. Different leaves, from purple leaves, even the wedu leaves, are also said to be. Lizard dung. In fact, uh, I can't imagine so many of such things. So, it's uh, anything there that can be done. Why do we have these people going into uh, this thing, I was even told that uh, this addiction is in different category classes. Mm -hmm. That those who take codeine are the A class uh, people. Yeah, because but, it's expensive. Yes. Uh, you have to mix codeine with tramadol and maybe refinol, you know, and it's uh, that's going to excess of over three three thousand euro. Because yes. before you get something like uh, benilin with codeine, which goes for about one thousand five hundred naira, before you get tramadol. Makes it with refinol, you're already spending about uh, 3,000. So that's why it's easy to just go into a latrine, pitch yes. latrine. Uh, well, that's prevalent in the northern part. Uh, Delhi. You see some of them, you know, sniffing. They just bend and then open a small, have a, get a small opening in the latrine and then they start sniffing. Uh, some they use a uh, uh, lizard dung. You see the small lizard dungs, you know, get, they dry it and then they uh, put it on Rizlas and then start smoking. It's, it's a whole lot, different things. You, you, you begin to to uh, to wonder what exactly is wrong. Is it normal? Is it some may say it's spiritual, but it's not that. It's uh, it's something that we've neglected, and it's tearing us in our faces, daily because it is what you see it, almost in every motor parks and garages that you enter. We see these things, but many of us just uh, you know ignore over, it. Ignore and it that, and that, then, that's where we are this we, morning. We think it's nothing. Toby has mentioned motor parks. I can confidently say this i've mentioned two names you can go there as i speak and see if i'm right or wrong go to cairo uh, motor park in songo you will see them smoking it as i speak different types of smoke from marijuana to the so-called uh, purple leaves have been sold and smoked right there go to itachi motor park as i speak for sure you also see and i'm sure there are so many other places around the state where this is happening. So, is the authorities who should be concerned, who should do something, are they aware? If they are aware, are they doing something? What are the challenges and difficulties and what other means are they employing to ensure that at least starting from those motor parks, 
which is an open place where people go we can start to clean those areas off we'll try and get uh, stakeholders to talk to us on this we'll get the Ogun State Sector Commander of the FRSC, Clement Oladele, to talk to us on this. We also get the General Manager of the Ogun State Park and Garage Board, Araja Ogun Sholu, to also speak to us on this. And of course, we we'll get the National Secretary of the Amalgamated Commercial Motorcycle Riders, Komora Kayode Shomi, to also talk to us on this issue. Let's say this short break. By the time we return, we should have one of these gentlemen with us online. Yes, thanks for still being there. Citizens Forum on the Daybreak Show this morning. We are going into our motto parks or garages across the land. What are governments, what are the stakeholders doing to read these places of the different addictive substances and the modern drugs now being used in those parks. We have online the general manager of Open State Park and Garage Board Alaji Ayo Ogunsholu, you are welcome to the Citizens Forum, sir. Good morning. All right, um, uh, Alaji, there is this concern now, reports from different places, and especially this morning we are looking at our different motor parks, where we can confirm that as we speak, you can still get marijuana freely sold and smoked, and other substances, despite the fact that government says they banned that. Why do we still have this prevalent in those uh, motor parks, sir? Uh, thank you. Well, I would not say the government has given them the privilege to do that. But you should realize that uh, people are lawless. And two, those people that engage in the sale of all of these illicit things are hawkers. They don't have exact, they are hawkers. They don't have exact shop to say that this is where they do operate. And the moment they realize that you are around, they know how to go away and move away. So it's always difficult to track them down. That, that is what thing I know. But I want to let you know that the government has been trying its own beat to make sure we don't have them around the parks. Alaji, we have every in every motor park there are unions, uh, different yeah. unions, even those who say uh, the market unions apart from the transport unions. Are you working with those unions to send these people out of the motor parks at least? In fact, let me tell you what we do to make sure that we get compliance on most of these issues is to engage in fact motor union in particular because they take care of the impact for the government so we engage them to make sure that we don't have these people around but like i said the other time lawlessness is the other one. if not there wouldn't be collision between the, 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 the seller of these uh, illicit things, ah, whoever, you must have uh, asked to monitor them as well. But what we usually do, I used to pay an announced visit to all of these parks. And the moment they realize that I'm around, they know how to flee. Ah, but who, whoever, it's not that lucky, and it's caught in the act. They, they know what I used to do. The penalty is not easy for them. Now, Alaji, beyond uh, you as a person, you know, and yeah. the fear you uh, cause when you uh, visit these uh, motor parks and garages, uh, what are the long-lasting structures put in place that will outlive you, that will outlive a personality, so that these things do not continue to recall. Thank you. Don't forget that there is a, there is a body that is fully charged to work this type of thing. That is NDLEA. And I know they have been visiting the partner for So, but when the two of us 
collaborate and work together, definitely we shall get over all of this type of uh, uh, issue. Uh, Elijah Dujodu, do you have the ability to one know the exact number of motor parks that are in the state and then control what is going on there? Is there a mechanism that can tell us that? Uh, thank you. Let me tell you, it's difficult for us to say the exact number of motor parks we have now. Because, you know, the, 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 the state is developing every day. Mostly, most of those areas you realize that are being used as uh, motor parks now, yeah, most of them are not legal. But that is true. They may be legal. Because the government has to look around those areas that there is need for them to be here. And now please a well-built uh, park there. All right. So, that, okay, any other information you think you need to know from what you are doing? Thank you. All right, we thank uh, you. All you know is that now, I know a book can easily say that they have been having a very good uh, visit to our party, but been harassed. Things are changing, everything, and which we believe will continue to change. But as regards all of those ones you are contending, be sure that we shall get rid of those ones very soon. All right, thank you. Alaji Ayo, Ogunsholu, General Manager, of State Park and Garage Board, for joining us on the Citizens Forum, Rock City, 101.9 FM. All right, thank you. Well, Alaji, we also urge you to stay on, monitor in case there are questions or comments you think you want to react to from our listeners as the program uh, goes on. Um, yes, we'll try and get uh, two more stakeholders. Like I mentioned, the sector commander of the Federal Road Safety and the secretary of the uh, Amalgamated Commercial Motor Riders, IOD, show me. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> All right, yes, we are back and now being joined by the sector, of the state sector commander, Federal Road Safety Commission, Mr. Clement Oladile. Morning, sector commander. Yeah, All right, we are looking at um, the growing um, habit of abuse of different addictive substances prevalent in our motor parks um, across the state. I mentioned some, I mentioned two of such uh, motor parks in the state. If you've been monitoring uh, Itaoshi here in Abekuta and the Cairo. Uh, motor park songo um, yes so many of these substances actually the list is growing and we know that even uh, your commission says you are doing something to stop people from selling alcohols from selling these drugs and even taking them in our motor parks are you overwhelmed no we're not we're not overwhelmed we even like that as a organization, the FRC over time, just without the injury to all these drivers, and it's both commercial and private drivers. So we've seen it over time, and part of the recommendations we make periodically to the government, that I'm sure we have informed, with, in addition to other special information available to government, that the government is okay. It's now the national crisis, which is a bad one, we need to regulate how these substances are being used for that. Because at the end of the day, it is the, it is the FRC that offers the bond. Because he can under influence, either he drinks or maybe he takes a business test for cancer. It will affect his mood, it will affect the way he dies. And the more he comes to the road, he is impaired and he is in crisis on the road, not only to himself but to other people. So these are part of the things we'll be doing as a commission. And to spend our time, government has not looked at it. Because we don't have a candidate in the front of the press, or the government agency, and the government collaboration, we don't have anything to do. 
Now, can we have some of those recommendations that are made to government so that we can assess it if they've been effective? Yeah, the recommendations are that, you see, uh, even when the EU started at the nation, the democratic in Africa, from our own uh, findings, from our, uh, our observation on the highway, we noticed that even some parts where we've gone to of uh, the government is in charge of NGL, uh, in charge of uh, ensuring that people could not uh, uh, abuse the substance. That people are now even gradually moving away from the past. However, the key point is that there are some very cool that are even rid of uh, those substances that they move from the past. But it's never still encouraging even those substances to move to their final destination. The do is that when they are going under the guys that they want to take some person passengers or take some passengers and move to the destination, it's just stop at a particular place, come out, and I will present they want to go and see uh, them first. Now, the or even bring the drugs and the computer driving. But the issue is that some of the passengers they carry, they still talk. They don't complain. They just assume that, oh, nothing is going to happen. Why should I have to be specialized? It's not the man. But when it happens, of course, it's a fine question. It's a good thing that we have to do for the rest of it. So the issue is that it is not just, there are two fundamental issues for it. One, you want to regulate in commercial vehicles. What about the private vehicles? So, and some of the, from some of the data, some of the data that they are on the highway that are not even commercial drivers, that are private drivers, not just not something. Some of the facts of conduction of those facts, they are very good. We find that those are abusive. And of course, we know what to do. We find that the facts are there on the side of the facts that they committed. And then we have to do it again. So, but the solution to read, I think, is the police and I like the approach of the government that, okay, because if you can't even read the back, let people be able to read it. Because we are seeing it more and more among the youth, no further than the press, some are not working, there are some that are graduates, they are not working, they have access to their own school, very close, and they decide. So, because they've been used to maybe abusing these substances, they want to go from the school. And how they want to go and have access to more money to do it. And it's true that if an agency is going to be given lots of alternatives to be able to do more than the required power that's supposed to spend on the road. So these are where the, the major issues are. And for the private travelers that drive, it is it don't even do this. Because who is checking? Just is talking on the road to just checking for that thing. But I'm not talking that what we check it for. Drug and alcohol, some days, some five days, but when you start coming from parties or edits, we know that there's a particular incident that we're just looking at for a focusing on that particular uh, infraction. Otherwise, what's that? Only after we have arrested you, the secondary offense that we see, and you learn not that the issue of uh, drug and alcohol, but at least I've been telling some of them how we call that, that beyond the, the range. But on our own, even in this case, what we is not only about drugs, all the other aspects that uh, you know, safety is codified all of them into a strategic plan from 2017 to year 2030. Just to make sure that we make this the the safety the safest rules in the Africa. And for us to do that, we have all the various agencies. So we're doing it bit by bit. And eventually we're going to get there. The central, <coughs> sorry, excuse me, central commander, sir. Um, how would you react or what would you say to those who believe that mostly or highly what you do is to react to this issue and not. No, uh, I'm not sure that we are not reaction. We are not reaction. That is the whole essence of the truth. We see that we get to the root. And getting to the root is about just. And the individual uh, 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 issue. It's not for the issue. It's not the issue to say, I'm going to drink, I'm not going to drink. It's not the issue to say, I want to, use, to drive or not to drive. So we have a this person. And for us to get to the root of this, act the individual to reach him and the service time from this end. If you can do that, you have already succeeded. Then those that are because you have to apply. You are even telling me under the table. If there are no, you just don't have to do it. You run out of business and you change trade. 
So those are the when I ask them to cut it, to produce all this rate for them and make sure that those that are into it, you remove them from, from like circulating the liquid drop. So yeah. the most important thing is appealing to individuals. That is why part of our strategy is making sure we remove religious homes and make it everything like government officials at them. So right. Commander. A large number of people get out of Commander. Yeah, you've talked about many recommendations uh, presented to governments to read these uh, uh, yeah. motor parks and garages of this uh, uh, menace. What about secondary schools? Because it's becoming more disturbing that those who engage in this uh, substance abuse are children uh, between the ages of 10 and 19. Now, um, that's uh, not only adolescents, but also teenagers uh, who are now uh, going to become adults. That, that's a very wide uh, uh, range of, uh, uh, of, of, of age group. Or that, that's, a, that's a wide uh, age group. So what, what exactly are you, are you doing uh, to, to tackle this, not only at the parks and garages uh, level, but also at the... Uh, Primary, secondary education level. That's the value of the Where what I was referring to before is that it is a whole lot of activities to do public education. You go to religious organizations, you know, people that are working in offices, and more importantly, people that are in the schools. You don't even know that we are doing to peer pressure their Lord in for it. And for those schools, we we show the the the, the, the curriculum of. Uh, the, of a rotating school curriculum, we put an aspect of it in the first part and of this aspect driving. We, 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 we recognize the fact that for criminals, support and both the reason that they took access to uh, a sort of and also when they are under the sense of alcohol or drugs. So those things need to behave actually. And the, 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 in tackling the aspect of having access to because a man that is a criminal, there is no way he's not going to use the road compared to his means of tactical or commercial act of criminality. And then when he finishes, he sees the road and most times very good escape from justice. And you can imagine if you take from justice and under the influence of God, then you will not be able to be all capable of vibration. So the thing that is to say, if they are aware that. If you get to driver's license, you know the, the, the effect of using a of a drug. I can experience of the safety and even the safety of other users that you should not even venture into it. And also, for those, those people that, that even venture into it, at the back end, if it cannot stop you, and even the other government agencies cannot stop you from uh, having access to it, on the road, physical enforcement. And they can stop you, and when you are stopped, then we don't see sign of transportation. And when we discover that the safety comes above the limit that is required, if you guys on a public highway, they don't hand over to you, don't get it. The most important is for every person to talk about it. No one talk about it, you shame it, then those that are even indulging in it, they might ask you to be off of the repentance. And say, I think also at the back end, those that are already fully involved. The rehabilitation system for them, so that when they, they, they lose the, the substances, they, they will not just have the, the urge to go back to the They are fully rehabilitated and then get back into the society and they can continue to normal and that is society. All right, thank you very much, Sector Commander Clement Oladile, for joining us on the program this morning. We appreciate you. Thank you very much for having me. Let's have a wonderful day. Okay, that's the voice of Mr. Clement Oladele, the Open State Sector Commander of the FRSC. We are looking into drug addiction, particularly in our motor parks or garages, as we want to call them, across the land. Our investigation has revealed that um, the class of drugs used there even goes beyond the codeine that has attracted national attention. Leaves are also part of those addictives that are now being taken 
even some people have said the heat of the PMF, the one we call petrol or fuel, is also an addictive substance for this use. Going to many, many, I don't want to say all, but very many of those parks, either motor parks or even Okada parks across the land, for sure, you get some people, someone engaged in the use of psychoactive substance. We'll take another break to establish contact with Kyle D. Show me the general secretary of the Amalgamated Commercial Motorcycle Riders. Stay tuned. All right, yes, sir. We have him online, Mr. Kyle D. Show me, general secretary. Of our comrade, Mr. Show me good morning and welcome to Citizens from Rock City 101.9 FM. Good morning, Mr. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Show me. Are you aware that many of those parks where we have these commercial riders operating are filled with drug and psychoactive addictive substances? Those who sell and smoke them. Are you aware? I uh, much before my reaction. I have to react on the introductions you have made at the earlier on that uh, Mr. Akao is the National Secretary of uh, Akumura. For those who are listening to us, I'm just the State Secretary okay. of Akumura in the state chapter here. All right, thank you for that in, correction. In, in, response, in response to the questions you made, um, well, for my own submission is that uh, we have all these things for so many years that uh, the, the Paraga people are patronizing our garages for uh, our members. As the government has been showing the interest that all the Paraga people should be laid off or, 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 or sent off from all the If you go widely, we see clearly that uh, the, the, the Okada riders' garages, I mean, the garages of Okada people are, are, are off from all these uh, hawkers to you, you will see all those who are selling this area, most of them are hawkers. And then I believe they have the association. Hey, Mr. Chomi, sorry for my uh, interjection. I'll give you one straight example which you can check out maybe before the end of the program by 11 o'clock. There is an Okada park at, at Fajor bus stop. If you no, let me. If you go there, I am confidently telling you that there is sale and use okay. of at least uh, paragon marijuana going on there. You can I verify that and come back before you. Now. But I have had it now. I have to go. I will go there to make an investigation. If those people have shop, if they have shop, they must be to assist us by stealing those shops. All those people are telling these things are okay. And it's very hard for us, harassing people, to be harassing them. Those workers uh, sellers. Unless the government stands up and assist, there's only two organizations, I mean, the two organs that can do this thing perfectly. One, those, uh, I mean, I mean, the ND, NDLA, with collaboration of the minutes, I mean, the, the board, that is controlling the garages in Ogun State. Those two people need to collide together a, a, a team that will be patronizing all the garages in Ogun State. Most kids, you can never find all these people in our garages. In, uh, I mean, the Okada garages in Ogun State. We can try all our possible best. But all the workers, we don't know how to deal with them. So the government can deal with them. And these people that are said earlier on, they had they had association. The government recognize them as an association. They need to monitor them. They need to organize them. They need to be giving them the the, the, the way they will be operating in the state. Now Mr. Yes, we can hear you. Now Mr. Mr. Chomi, we uh, we don't just want to look at um the sale and use it at the spot on the spot in the motor parks we also know we can confirm that many of these riders commercial riders even before 
um, the assignment before beginning the day or after working for some time, they go and take this thing either in their own home or somewhere else and then return to work. This group of people are also there. We're talking of additions generally, and we are not just that looking why, at marijuana of Paraga. That is why both of uh, the organizations that government recognize, both Amuran and Akumuran, we have been giving lectures to our members. The the chance of taking anything, uh, 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 anything uh, 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 drug that can even be affecting our brain, affecting our health, and so on and so forth. We have been we have been referring them each time to have been holding any meeting. I think we have been calling the NDLA to come and give us the lecture. We have been doing all our best. But if there is no seller, there won't be any any buyers. So the government is back up now to, to, to be in our aid. Mr. Chomi, some people will also say if there is no buyer, there won't be a seller. But that apart, let me let me also ask you: Have you, sir? If there's no buyer, there won't be seller. Okay. But that is how the the, the things be. We yeah. have been trying all our best to make sure our members are free of drugs. Now, as a body, as a recognized body, do you punish members caught by you? Have you, on any instance, hand over? any member found guilty to the NDLA or other um, security, government security agency? You know, it's very hard for us to just be arresting people on our own. Members, 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 members. We have never find them on the spot taking all these things. If you find them on the spot, gripping them that they are taking these things, there won't be any cause for us to be handing over to them for the security agency. Mm -hmm. so, uh, what, what will you do? What do you do if you catch a member? If you, uh, if in, you catch in, any in the member, we will arrest that person. We are, we'll give an arrest to that person and not over it to the, to the police or any security that is around. Alright. We have a monitoring group within ourselves. Mm, okay. we have been, you know, we, we are many. Are you sure they are effective, the monitoring, the task force? All right, thank you, uh, Mr. Kyle De Shomi, and thank you for that correction. The Secretary, Ogun State Secretary of uh, the Amalgamated Commercial Motorcycle Riders. Thank you for joining us, sir. You're welcome. All right, uh, we still have a few minutes left. You've listened to those uh, three stakeholders actually uh, express their position and what they've been doing, what they've seen on this issue that we are talking about, addiction, use of different forms of addictive substances, not just drugs manufactured legally now, but other uh, substances that cannot be imagined or mentioned. Within the few five minutes left, let's get what you think. We can just take two calls, not more than two calls, but we're also taking your comments, position on our different social media network. The, so, uh, the short code, free to one two zero, and of course our Twitter handle at Rock City FM at Rock City FM. Let's take two calls, and we'll return after the ten o'clock news. Zero zero nine eight six eight seven three four four zero nine zero nine one four six nine six seven zero. Hello, good morning. Hello. Good morning. Yes, good morning. I am Mister Olatilani calling from. If the substance abuse cannot be totally eradicated, but it can be reduced as BRS minima, in the sense that those really the work the the elite security agents, even our law enforcement agents, even indulge in this behavior, this behavior, it will enhance their performance. You see, you see political talks, openly smoking, all this drama and all those things taking off from us. Nobody challenges them. And that is the point that we are having. Then, the point that most of us, most people even report to the police, and the police people release them within the shortest possible time. And what you can do is that in group, we can report, go to the NDSA, 
and say they sit down for this drug habit. This will cause this. Then the message will pass across on drug and substance abuse. Let us go to our schools. Pass to our schools. Uh, continue in motor garages. And so on. Go to the market. The Noah also, Noah also should also be active. Parents do their part. They are taking note of their children, watching their activity. All this TV, video, and the type of music this youth even living to, is a contribute to the problems we have. So the NBC, Nigeria Broadcasting Corporation, this video server board, to be active at controlling this. All this would be due to substance abuse in the society. Thank you. All right, thank you to Alagba Olakilani. Let's add your voice to it, the last really, for this segment. 32120, for those of you who want to use your short code, you simply have to type ROCK. That's the first thing you need to do. We have somebody. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Gilly. Thank you, sir. Good morning, Mr. Gilly. I'm Paula Ugrada. I'm calling from Bazaar. It is unfortunate that it's a growing incident of drug abuse that society is doing which has used to I have almost poorly for God's vengeance. One area that is often neglected is this ubiquitous hatchet spirit. They call it uh, the, 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 uh, the, this adding that has invaded almost all street centers and now found a picture of barriers and users. It's quite across girls, ladies, married women, all this. This one is quick and start for any criminal activity or society. The cities are now streamed with joints. They are different additives, structures, fines, Relevant for relevant. Of course, no sir, or not, are not invented. This is a marijuana as I'm speaking to this of ordinary cigarette. And time they come, to them they turn the poor seller's way of writing uh, marijuana. This additive drug has now invaded our schools and primary, uh, uh, both primary and secondary schools. People now under, even now I don't under this uh, judge place to perpetrate different evils. Since this menace has now become organic, systematic and epidemic, we need vigorous education campaign, public enlightenment, and our religious organization has a lot to do, and they need to bring the right message, translation, that we destroy people from this evil behavior. Thank you very much. All right, uh, thank you. All right, do we have, uh, let me see that you can tell. Okay, in the absence of that, yeah, we'll be back after the 10 o'clock news. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Honestly, JJ, 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 Laye, you welcome back. Yet uh, the second and final half on the Dead Break Show, Rock City 101.9 FM. This morning we are looking at the growing rate consequences of addiction of different substances across Allah. It's not just within the use, really, it goes across different categories. And of course, uh, some people have also categorize it into the first class, second class, and perhaps the third class of addiction. Those who have the money and can use money to do it. Those who do not have it but use this influence. And of those who are not even expected, it's a surprise to see them getting addicted with different things. They are the ones who goes into the latrine, they soak away, open it, and then sniff the heat from it, use the PMF, the leaves, and other anything within their vicinity to get high, uh, as it is called. The garages, that's where they are more prevalent, where freely different kind of addictive substances are being sold. Uh, you heard the Akumara use the word paraga. It's like it's a free market. You walk in, you walk out in many of our uh, motor parts, particularly the big ones, the ones that are recognized and believed to be um, in quote now standard motor parts. That's where you find those things going on uh, smoothly. We spoke with three stakeholders. First was the general manager of the State Park and Garage Board, uh, Haji Ayo. Mushulu, his position is that government has a monitoring team and is working with the NDLA, National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, to get rid of these people. Government is also concerned, and because the state is growing, different motor park are springing up without the notice of government, but government are also striving to catch them, um, put them on the list of areas to be 
was the road safety Ogun State Sector Commander Clement Oladele also join us to talk about the different educational programs and enlightenment the commission is doing and how they are ensuring that they enforce the law of those they caught in the act. I kindly show me the Secretary General of Ogun State Akomura also spoke with us and he said the group also has a monitoring team, a task force that goes around to ensure that each members stay away from drugs. They are aware of the implications and of course generally that is a major cause. That is a major cause of accidents on our roads. Alright, we turn the microphone over to you, our esteemed listeners. Let's get your own comments, reactions to those uh, interviews you've heard. And of course, if you have fresh things, new things to inform us, to tell us about the topic, let's get involved. 0809-8687344 or 0909-146-9670. You can also reach us via the short code 32120 or you have to raise to tap rock, leave a space, type your message, include your name and send to 32120. Our social media platforms are also available at Rock City FM is the Twitter handle. You can drop your comments on our Facebook fan page, Rock City 11.9 FM. All right, let's start with the calls. Uh, remember to turn on the volume on your radio set when you call. Hello, good morning. Hello, somebody. Good morning. Yeah, you are the good person. Good morning to be. You are thinking that you are from me, Jacko here. Thank you. Yeah, I've listened to all the people you have and uh, the Yes, the only comment I want to make is about the running of past in the good state, which I must confess to you that it's not existent. And the, part, the man, if you can listen to me, to go and study how they run past in the good state, it's only in quarter state. We should take a cue from where things are working. I travel to the past in the time, go to Unity Road there as a journalist and see their park there. All these parts I put on here, you have there. They have a room where you can go to room. People send it everybody that wants to travel. You get a ticket, you have a manifest. It's not like you go to death. I will say it's not started at all. We have how many people in Ogun State? We have a lot of they both day or time, whatever. You cannot see a single part that is conducted in a modern way. Some of us that are not in this, we can do a kind of pre consultancy for them. On how to run our park in Ogun State to make them modern. We are not, no, we are not there at all. Ogun State is dragging behind the area of park and garage. They have no thing. They have either Kumara, they have a uh, NURC, they have a uh, retail or whatever. Now, and talk at the people that are running park. Sorry, Benson. It won't be correct. To, it won't be correct to say thousands and thousands are the ones running those associations. Okay, That's, uh, I'm sorry for that, but they, are, yeah. they, are, they don't have a template on how to run a wrong a good park in Ogun State. No. Look at put yourself and see the way the the, the park is. No, where yeah, no shelter, no no, no toilet. See what the way they run. Go to Ogun and see the way they run. Yes, yes, Good morning, Mr. Thank you. Good morning, Mr. Good morning. I can hear you. Your name and let's go. Two minutes, sir. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Yes. You see, the 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 uh, security men they are not busy now. They know the flight point. No question. Where, where you should smoke, smoke this, this, this dangerous drug, this hard drug. They know it. Uh, 
behind the what do you call it? The opposite is the other. Yeah, yeah. It's Oku. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Kenta, yeah, yeah, yeah. And even when some of them are caught, they don't spend 24 hours with the uh, with the president. Why? Because they have the money. Even the, even the barons who <laughs> sell these drugs. They have money to 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 to, 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 to I mean to avoid prosecution. That's why when you have all these all these uh uh things to, to try about. And then LDA and DNA still have a lot to do. Catch them. They are all around. Otherwise, we have youth. And they say this is our leaders of tomorrow. This is how we pay them. This is how we are helping to uh, drink marijuana, drink uh, uh, cocaine, and come and leave this nation. God forbid. Thank you very much. Thank you, too. Thank you. Let's add your voice. You can also join us using the different social media Hello. platform. Good morning. Yeah, my name is Isabel Savanez from Abadu. One, we do not have a problem of a drug abuse in Nigeria, but the problem of a positive and terrorist team. Second, most dangerous drug we have in this uh, alcohol that causes a lot of damages to the body. But thirdly, if you see those people in China that they are fighting against drugs, they only go to the place where hardworking people and taking drugs for hard work. So, I left those terrorists in their own uh, uh, center, where they live and they claim that they are selling all form of hard drugs there. They live that they left, they don't arrest them. We are free to them, they should go and go and arrest all those terrorists in their own area. So that uh, we end this kind of problem of killing. So they now have a revelation that there must be possible. <laughs> Road and action by these terrorists. I don't tell you, I saw a of terrorism. What a form of God bless Nigeria. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, How are you? I am a Moxie from my issue. All right. I have to appreciate you on this topic you have brought to us. Now, the first uh, man that was interviewed with uh, their life, he said many people have been arrested and what have you. He has not tell us, he has not told, uh, told us that a uh, lot of person has been sick. He said he has death with them. How? And what do you think that the law enforcement agent or whoever? That is number one. Number two, this law enforcement agent, uh, agent, they know the hideout. They know who to be They will usually go there to collect their... Uh, uh, like this, and they also take over whatever they want to take and go away. They don't usually arrest. And everyone is very uh, rampant and anybody is possible. It's not so more than a day with them. These people are syndicates. They know how to go about their business and how to kill anybody who is uh, actually caught. So we are uh, not enforcement to be up and through. They should do away with dirty a lot of green things that they have been engaging in the front of our hands. If you will see that Nigeria is clean of this uh, problem, you know, this is for their sake. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you for expressing your opinion. All right, somebody else, let's add your voice. Good morning. Hello, sir. All right, three, two, one, two, zero. For the short code, somebody is there. Good morning. Hello, good morning. Yes, yes sir. good morning. Okay, guys, The issue raised this morning it was a very issue because in a flight to UGBC this morning, the same issue was discussed this morning on this drug addiction. All these things. You know, the problems come from the parentage, peer group, and the community at large. The problem is. You see why you cannot face all the drug at this issue. Or being smoking, ego, ganja, or whatever. This one, someone looking down now. 
but really the people behind this thing. So are the people, the people that competition are huge. Give them money to buy this, give them money to buy that, give them money to buy Then, after they use them, they dump them. They become addicted to these drugs. That's the thing. Another thing is this. All these fucking people. They're talking for someone, okay, all these expressions, all the hawkers in the garages. They're the one that's fucking Amador, uh, Codeine, Decodeine, all these addicted drugs. Please, if the government can wait to get some, forget about the policy for this matter. My big mother, it's my big sister, my big daughter. Let them be arrested. And the hospital, the engineer has been far away with the city. But what does it work? They are doing work. Not going to look pretty. Because they are organizing seminars for parts and garages. Seminars around here. But the garage boys, they were not ready to change. Because they have the godfathers behind them. When they are arrested, they leave. All these things make things difficult to get the real source of the problem. Let government switch from the number and then encouraging the LDLA, the NAVDAC, the Federal Receipt Corps, they will be changed. Come on. I used to listen to their security that in the morning time. Let's <laughs> abide hopefully. Nigeria will be better very, very soon. Thank you and God bless Nigeria. All right, thank you. All right. Thank you for your contribution. Uh, the network is a bit uh, challenging, but of course, uh, when we do have some respites, we would uh, go straight to the short code messages. Abiola uh, Detola says, um, in reaction to what uh, the Commonwealth Secretary said, I, is it saying that they run to oblivion? And since when the Ogun Parks and Garages Development Board have the power to arrest traders, who gave the traders space to sell, and who set the rules of engagement for the traders, have been issue. It is the same thing to do. You must close the lines that produce the sell product. However, that might not be the best solution. Marijuana is an illegal substance and is still everywhere in the country, so banning the product might not be the most effective way of curbing the abuse. Uh, all right, that's it. Toby, Toby um, like uh, we've done here, our own research, our investigation, it has gone beyond use of these psychoactive uh, addictions, has gone beyond marijuana and codeine. Or, or th these are the ones we categorize into the A class. Yes. Where, uh, where we're talking about the ones that you do not even think of, like opening the hole in the, the cover of a pit hole and then sniffing the heat coming from there, um, using the purple leaf, dry one, or even the fresh one, wrapping it and sleeping. These are more dangerous because government itself is not looking towards this direction. You, many of you are looking at the ones that are producing factory or industry, but what of the one any drug addict can just on his own uh, bring up? And begin to use that is where the real danger mm -hmm. is now moving to you find all these boys in the motor parks that's where they, they can't afford to buy codeine they can't uh -huh. so but these ones they can do easily <laughs> jesus can you move away from the hello good morning, Mr. Good, morning. Yes, good morning i'm mr Toby. my name is big daddy all right big daddy you want to block or damage our eardrum this morning I'm very sorry. All right, that's all right. Thank you. you see, let me be a very nice topic people bring, but I comment I don't need to. I don't know why we should think about this. Look at Codeine, the bandit of the CD container going along the street, they are arrested. If our government who can stand up for the challenge to say the thing, man at the border or the um, customs should resign, let another person take over, they will be doing their work. If you just get in the morning, and talk card, you will see that all you only got of alcohol in the morning. And well, let's go to this, Mr. Dede. Why can't you talk about the things we are watching now? The particular music was banned last time. Still, they release it. A young boy climbing on top of wood in order to touch the wire. And still smoking on that. We should think about all those things in uh, social media, what he's doing for us. We are talking about uh, another thing. The parents have a lot to do. But to, so far, if you are bound to say yes uh, for some certain things, sometimes it is pretty new from the said yes to. 
we should condemn those things. And that God has you with the Bahaga, you see them. I go get this and that. My brother, those things you need to look into. We don't have government that think about themselves. Now, 2019, nobody think about fake any longer. If not, the Midora created who fired it last time. May God help us. Truth and corners of this time, you see them smoking the other side home. You know what I'm talking about. Have a nice day. Sir. Thank you, Big Daddy. Hello, let's call. Hello, zero eight zero nine eight six eight seven three four four. Good morning. Uh, we have some. Like, let's start with uh, the short code messages. This one says, "Good morning." For my own submission, I think that aside the fact that I've seen this action against this so-called addictive substance. Okay, and the other part of the message is not uh, visible. Maybe you resend your message. Let's go back to the tweets. Uh, Kuli Gab says, if you gather 10 youth that are into these addictions, half of them, if not more, will have a father who is also into it. There are more than one joint in our garages that, are, that all these acts are being perpetrated. The chairman that says he has never seen any of his members taking alcohol or other substance at the sport is not saying the truth. It's even worse in our tertiary institutions. It's a sorry case. I don't know where the youth are heading to. Uh, Adedipe Samuel says, drug abuse is a demon. In fact, a, an arc demon. It is faceless. It could appear as one's, as one's child. Uh, they could cook it, drink it, smoke it, inject it, and even birth with it. It does not respect age. It has gotten into the corridors of power, and it now controls the very elected. Uh, Dr. Kushimo says substance abuses are usually learned and practiced outside homes, but perfected at homes and in the neighborhood. The CDAs and landlords should become whistleblowers to work with security agents. Health, education, and advocacy should also be introduced for the success. As parents, we all daily look away and allow evil to spread in the community at our own peril. No one child, no matter how good or disciplined, can live, learn, or work alone. Can our adults be parents for all children around and be role models for them? Those are tweets from Dr. Kushimo. Kolega once again says, if you see a plastic bottle of Coca-Cola in the hand of any youth around, please don't be surprised. It's not Coca-Cola. It's alcohol or concussion. Uh, whenever NDLEA enter, enters our garages to talk with drivers, do they want to tell me that, they are, that their noses can't smell uh, cocaine or India hemp in the air? Belonia Ajishafe says, drug abuse is prevalent in institutions of learning. I overheard some teenage guys and I felt sorry for the future of my nation and the world at large. My counsel is for institutions to carry out tests on students before admission. Suraka Tabiodo says, the increasing rate of drug abuse when I joined youth can only be traced to unemployment to revenue the country here and there. Government should please do the needful by providing jobs for the teen youth to reduce this to the barest minimum. Yami Da Vinci says, life in Nigeria is nasty, brutish, and short. The reason our people use these illicit substances is to reduce the pain of being human and Nigerian. Many indulge in illicit substances and drugs usage because what else is there to do? The only other form of escapism many times is indulging in European football argument, and that could get tiring. However, NDLEA and NAFDA can do more. The challenge is the Nigerian factor which means that the government officials are probably bribed to look the other way. I have seen marijuana being sold in front of a police station in Lagos before. So the biggest challenge is law enforcement. The best thing I think transport unions can do is to ensure anyone that is high or low, as the case may be, should not drive. I have given up on them not having access to these substances. Akride Camille says, let government take hard decisions to end drug abuse. We have not seen much drastic steps taken. All right, keep tweeting at Rock City FM. That's uh, the Twitter handle. And keep sending your messages to 32120. All right, so we return to the telephone lines. Let's, uh, thank you. Uh, this is Pat, please, 
Yeah. If we are talking about all this and uh, all this tramadol being so We are not just talking about yeah, codeine, tramadol, we are talking about psychoaddictive drugs generally, particularly okay. in our motor parts. Now, okay. if you see our boys now, with uh, maybe you have water, or uh, this uh, bottle water, sorry, you let me mention, you will see them with uh, 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 hard drugs. Then let's not forget our GP, all these are our garages. If our data here, if you go there, you saw this actually uh, called this soul, very close to our uh, terminals. And I think the government should do something about it. <clears throat> and I want to say something about our, this uh, area here. I want the security agent to please come to our area, especially in the area. All these court uh, guys are documented. Like three days ago, now something happened in our area when one boy was being brought down. So I want to inform all this, uh, our security agent. Come, please. Come to our That's my solution this morning. <coughs> All right, thank you. Thank you for that information. You are on air. Hello? Give us your name. Just give us your name and your two minutes is running. Good morning. My name is Mr. Kelly. Yes, Hello? Mr. Kelly, your two minutes is on. We can hear you. Oh, uh, what a very good uh, topic you are discussing this morning. So that you uh, the only thing I want to say is that uh, at times government seems to have a very good idea and the policy to implement. But the problem we are having in this country is the people to actually carry out the implementation of this policy. For instance, this uh, our NAVDAS, NGLA, and even the police, they know that all these things are happening everywhere in this country. Even in, their police, in the police station, at the back of the police station, in the about that they are saying, you see these boys doing all these things, they are behind them. But they close their eyes as if they do not hear them, see them. There is a particular place at uh, Igbore Junction that these guys used to be doing all these things. And the most of the time, you see these NDNA boys, uh, the police, they will come there. They will not collect money from them and go back. They continue with their notorious activities. So if we are serious in this country, we know what to do to nip all these things in this board. And the Nigeria will be a better place for us to stay. Thank you very much. All right, thank you. Indeed, the Bori and Goba are also areas that have been identified. Hello? Hello, you are on. You are on to the Citizens Forum, Daybreak Show, Rock City, 101.9 FM. Good morning. This, uh, this one from uh, Ikechuko Lisa says all this park and garages establishing here and there across the state is like a ticking time bomb so the government must wake up and do the needful before it turns into something else. As a lima like me who doesn't smoke or need a drink, please can you explain what codeine means? That's a day from Elega. Well, uh, are they <laughs> codeine is an addictive substance that is included in the cough syrups or cold uh, uh, remedies. Uh, so it's, uh, it's, it's usually in small quantity because uh, of its addictive nature. Uh, so that is why a, a lot of uh, uh, companies don't use it in large uh, quantity. But in uh, cough syrups like uh, Benilene, like uh, Coflin, uh, some of them they have it uh, substantially so you have many youth buying maybe 10 bottles of uh, aniline uh, with codeine and then they mix it together with coke uh, pop maybe about four or five pills of 100 milligrams of uh, tramadol and then maybe refinol and then they mix it together and then they, they, they take it. So, and when you do, you, you that's if you notice youth uh, walking slowly, becoming sluggish, uh, sleeping, oversleeping, uh, or you find many of them speaking with uh, uh, their, their slow, you know, if you find that anywhere you, you should just know that they are already on uh, codeine, they are high with codeine. And that is why the popular song, uh, Want to Put Chemical Apple, that is what it means when Olan Bide was singing that song, Want to Put Chemical Apple, because that is what they do. Yeah, now, I, you see them shaking it in bottles of Coca Cola. Very, very destructive, if you ask me. Uh, interestingly, we must also add these were not the original intentions of, of those who, yes. Hello, hello. Yes, morning. Yes, good morning. 
Um, good morning, Yana, a guy in the house. This is Kenneth Alabi, calling from the modern city of Africa. Thank you, Kenneth. Thank you very much. I, first, you see, the truth of the matter is this. Even some of the security agents that are even in charge, some of them are addicts. Remember, recently, the police hierarchy said that the new recruits are going to be subjected to severe affiliated. For heaven's sake, go to poor some of their shops. Alcohol and drinks, smoke are freely sold in most of their shops. They are all around us. Just go out. It's not a matter of defense. This is not an allegation. Go and find out. So, the truth of the matter is that that sensitization cannot be with the If a band is also a step in the right direction, the first thing is actually that alcohol. It took a lot from the actually before they were able to stop the advert of tobacco on social media. It took a lot. They, they dress it another. They say it today. Someone will tell you that uh, it's not so for uh, age they do it too. Who oh, oh, ever drink and ask, what, what, uh, what, what age are you or what is your age? There's somebody that says and ask the age. So they start uh, to take their money. So the alcohol, the structure is the first, in fact, is the most destructive. Yeah, if, if some of them are throwing a 50 minute taxi, and many other vehicles that you're having around, they should all be banned. The truth of the matter is that if you don't take a drug from you, it should be disastrous at the end of the day. I thank you. <laughs> all right, thank you for your contribution. Hello? Hello, good morning. Yes, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. can you speak up a little, yeah. sir? that I think we should do to eradicate is or to turn it to a minimum uh, to the condition is one, that all schools, government should make it, make it compulsory for all schools to imbibe the culture of, I mean, introduce the reading culture. I want to uh, give students to one of the schools in Abel Kutai along the uh, 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 they call it more, uh, more story. They have a, a, a story book titled Drug that one of those uh, topics you every when. All right, thank you. We'll take the next call 0809 867 Ike once again says it is so shameful that those we call the leaders of tomorrow are now prodigal sons. So, where is our hope? We gotta have mercy on us. We gotta have mercy on us all. All right, Akrode Camille tweeted this. Can we be teaching the effect of drug abuse in schools or we create more awareness programs? This should go a long way in curbing this act. What about alcohol recovery programs? With this, it will encourage the government to take aggressive extinction of all the sources of these hard drugs. And Didi Prince Samuel says the drug abuse is a global problem for Nigeria. The government should get the youth busy with em with employment, so we will know the ones that are really addicted. Police, soldiers, the enforcers are also addicted. Hypocrites will point fingers. All right, that's our Didi Prince Samuel uh, sending in that tweet. Okay, we can accommodate. Uh, Two or three maximum. Hello. Yeah, good morning. Thank Thank you. You. Morning. I am Pastor Sholama Sindhi calling from Uwu Kingdom. Okay, I'm going to have a good time. Uh, quickly, you will please allow me to <coughs> on the phone burner issue this morning. That is on uh, drug abuse and uh, implication. Uh, what we believe that uh, there is an agency in charge that is the Nigerian Drug and Law Enforcement Agency. I want to say that they should do more by making themselves available, uh, possibly be stationed in all our parks and garages across the state of Ogun, instead of uh, mounting roadblocks with guns, uh, possibly extorting money from drug peddlers or drug left road like here. All right. Hello, somebody. Hello. Hello, Mr. Right, you, have, you, you have called you. If you have not finished, you can use the 
short code of us to look at it this morning yes you can continue with the debate on the different social platform provided on the subject matter which is very important within our homes honestly there are some children really to be that they have two they have affected the two different character there are two different people the character the attitude they behave in the home while among the family and the one they do when they are away from home in school uh, among their parents and sometimes it's really difficult to really to identify really know, yes. or get especially uh, those who belong to very strict uh, family structures exactly yes. those who are uh, children of uh, pastors reverends mm, uh, religious, uh, leaders, religious leaders so and who, disciplined yes uh, who are in private School. institutions especially universities because they cannot go in with alcohol cigarettes and the like so they just uh, it's easy for them to smuggle in uh, according a cough syrup and say no i'm I, I, i'm ill and that's why i'm, I'm going to take this or bring in uh, this uh, tablet because the, the the security man won't really know mm. uh, which is which and that is where the abuse is very prevalent because so how, how do they discover that when they yes. mix chemical like you said like uh, this, uh, <laughs> this is what this is what it will result to all right we appreciate that the gm ogun Park and Guard Board, Ahaji Ayo Ogun Sholu, the Sector Commander, Ogun State Federal Road Safety Commission, Clement Oladele, and the Secretary, Ogun State Sec Chapter, Akomora Aladi Kayo De me for joining us. And to all of you, this is a job we need to pick up as an assignment. Dele Ayo, is my name. I say God bless you all. God bless Nigeria and God bless Rock City. And I remain to 